Okay, Jack, uh, it's coming in, and it's right in the center of our screen. Okay, Vance, uh, uh, can you, uh, make your guess what that might be, uh, Vance? Better than Charlie? I don't want to start flipping coins at this point. Okay, Vance, we're pointed uh, just a little ways off from looking directly at the moon. Uh, Jim is holding the camera through window three. The sun is coming at about uh, 40 degrees off our left side. And what uh, we're going to show you in just a minute is uh, about 30 seconds of wastewater dump just show you just what it looks like. It's uh, really fantastic. Okay. We'd like to see that. We saw uh, some droplets uh, speeding out for a little while, Jack. Now we don't see anything. Actually, uh, Vance, what you're looking at is uh, solid uh, water droplets coming out just about uh, all the time. It lights up the whole uh, sky around the moon. Uh, it's just probably too fine for you to see. Now I think they're coming out a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, we see those. Jack's complaining about seeing stars. Fido says he can understand why that would perturbate a trajectory now. It's amazing watching these uh, little rows of droplets maneuver. Uh, they seem to in all directions, and finally, after they get out a certain way, settle down, and they all seem to be traveling in about the same direction. Right, that's uh, coming in real well. The uh, objects in the foreground uh, are part of the lamp that you're looking at. Camera's now going to order press. We can just barely see those parts of the limb. They must be in a shadow. Okay, now you're looking at a uh, thruster quad. I've got the uh, f-stop all the way uh, open now, Vance, that's the uh, quad. Uh, quad one you're looking at uh, with the lamp uh, should, or the uh, moon should be in view uh, just over the top of the quad. All right, we see the, uh, the nozzle of the quad, but it's uh, dark and it's uh, not easy to see. Uh, 13 Houston, ENCO suggests you try average if you're in peak to see if that gives us a better picture. Okay, we're in average now.
think that helps out. We can see it better. Okay, flight. We we shouldn't leave it there too long. Okay, now thirteen. Request you either move it away from the uh, <coughs> the bright area or else uh, move it back to peak. Over. It's uh, coming in about the same French, and you're a little weak now, Macomb. We could see when you went back to peak. We can see you zoom in on the, the moon, and it's uh, near the center of our screen, just a little to the left. Very clear. Do you have your uh, grid down there, Ben? Uh, that's negative, Fred. I don't know if you can uh, make out the pizza there, man, sometimes, but it uh, looks like the Terminator is uh, the uh, central uh, plane there is somewhere around Descartes, maybe. Okay, we're, we see it just as a, a bright uh, portion of the lunar disk, and uh, it looks a lot like you see it from Earth. It's very bright. We're unable to see any features at all.
Minus six minutes to go. Uh, Roger, minus six minutes. Uh, understand you're about ready to turn on the gimbal motors and all that sort of thing. Okay, we see the computer now in the upper middle part of the, the panel. I think we see somebody's checklist in the center couch. Must be uh, Jim holding the checklist. Right, and uh, what Jim's holding now, he's got a, a pen in his hand, we're rigged on a string, uh, uh, it's sort of a um, simple-minded uh, accelerometer. It burns pretty short, and I'm not sure uh, even that's going to show very much, uh, but we'll see if it'll uh, stretch out at the end of its string. Yeah, we see the pencil at the uh, uh, top of the picture floating around. And Jack's coming into view now. And I've gone back. Okay, I've gone back to average now, and uh, I've had the picture. Roger. Well, in a few minutes advance, I guess we'll uh, see how about the only uh, system we hit and uh, used yet uh, works. Everything else sure has worked uh, mighty fine. Right. Spacecraft's really working nicely. Okay, we're picking up uh, panel two now. It's a little bit of the checklist. We just saw your your testing of the caution and warning system at the uh, 
left-hand side of the panel on our TV. See the lights all uh, flash on? You're doing it again. Your mission timer is showing up as a uh, brilliant green in the upper left-hand part of the picture. Uh, Roger. I got the camera kind of canned on you, man. Man, uh, Jim's going to go to box, man. Roger. Uh, read you loud and clear, Jim. Okay, well, uh, what we'll do, uh, we'll be in box for the remainder of the, uh, burn, uh, pre-burn countdown. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we're waiting for is, uh, 54 minutes on our counter, or 20, which would be, uh, minus six. Jim, we hear clipping on your Vox. Uh, could you adjust it so that you're coming in continuously all the time? Okay, stand by one. One, two, three, four, five. How's that, man? Okay, that's better. How do you read the CMP on box? Jack, read you loud and clear. Okay, fine. We're showing minus eight and a half minutes. Roger, Houston copies. Is that too close, Lance, or can you make out the uh, FPS uh, engine panel now? We, we can see your uh, fuel and oxidizer gauges and hydrogen and oxygen gauges at the top of the picture and the pugs, but it isn't coming in in focus too well. It's a little dim. Yeah, I think the problem is I'm about two feet that uh, doesn't go down but to four. Right, uh, we understand. That's the panel right in front of your face. Okay, uh, we're standing by for the uh, main dual motors. Okay, we're minus seven minutes. Roger.
focus is good enough that we can see the position of your four ball valves at the top of the picture for the big uh, SBS engine. 